Hello, I'm Zena and I'm from St Paul's Church. I'm the schools worker there and today I want to tell you one of the stories about St Paul. St Paul the Apostle who is the saint that our church is dedicated to and if you come into the church you can see a beautiful stained glass window which depicts him. But the story I'm going to tell you today is the story of St Paul's shipwreck. So if you just listen carefully and you'll hear the story about the shipwreck of St Paul. Paul had to tell everyone the good news about Jesus and that meant a lot of journeys. Journeys across the sea, journeys over the land. But he didn't go all by himself, he had friends to help him. Every day, everywhere he went, they told the people. God wants you to be his friends. That's the good news of Jesus. That's what he came to bring. Everywhere they went, they made new friends for Jesus. Paul told them how much God loved them. He said they must be kind and loving too. Love is the best thing of all. It makes us patient and kind. It stops us from being boastful and rude and jealous. It stops us from being selfish and cross. Love makes us loyal. It makes us trust. Love is forever and ever. Some people hated Paul and threw stones at him. Often he was cold and hungry and thirsty and had nowhere to sleep. But he never gave up. He was always so glad he could work for Jesus. And Paul knew that God was helping him. He said, nothing can cut us off from God's love, not trouble or hard times, not hunger or death, nothing in the whole wide world. After many journeys, Paul went back to Jerusalem and they put him in prison. How could he tell everyone about Jesus if he was in prison? Send me to the emperor in Rome, Paul said at last. He was sure the emperor would set him free. The city of Rome was far away, across the sea by ship. On the way, a big storm blew across the waters. Wee, 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 screamed the wind. Everyone thought they were going to drown. But Paul was not afraid. Cheer up, he said. God says you will be safe. So eat some food. You need to be strong. The ship began to break up. Hold on to a bit of wood, Paul cried. It will help you to float. So everyone got safely to the land. When Paul got to Rome, the emperor was busy. He let Paul live in a house of his own with a soldier to guard him. And Paul was right on telling everyone the good news about Jesus. He had lots of visitors and he wrote letters to his friends of Jesus in all the places that he'd been to. He told them more and more about Jesus and he answered all their questions. He loved them so much. <laughs>